Hello, Sim here. So NetDuma have at last, you guys say, released the latest firmware update. Yes, it's 1.3.5 and it's got a load of goodies. High speed downloads for those lucky devils who've got high speed 100 megabyte plus to gigabit type speeds. Ridiculous stuff. And they've also got proper bandwidth control. So I'm not going to necessarily scroll down through the list, but if you guys want to pause the video and read it, you can do. But let's jump straight into it. So let's start off on the host filtering page. And I've not done this yet because I, I have to do it live and see what happens because you need to do a change on this thing. You all know about ping assist. And for those wondering why the heck have I got ping assist currently set to 28 milliseconds, it's to pick up dedicated servers uh, that are not known about at this point in time for like Black Ops 3 or any other type of uh, new game. So what you need to do on this page first of all is press Control F5 uh, on PC and or Command F5 if you're on a Mac uh, because you need, need to do a hard refresh, refresh the cache because you'll see that we got this PA for old ping assist and we need to get rid of that to the new one. So obviously that's my Xbox One so I want to select my Xbox One click next and you see there's no ping assist so i've got xbox live that's what i want to do click done and now that says xbox live now i need to do exactly the same thing for my playstation 4 and you're going why have i got to do this sim well if you don't do this the whole geo filter thing is not going to work and uh, i need to make sure i click on the right device or button so there we go so on playstation network click done hey presto the pa is gone and that's it so that's one thing you guys need to do. Right, let's skip to the next thing that you need to do. Go to congestion control. Go down to the bottom of this page and click reset distribution. Now you're thinking, well, that shouldn't have done anything. Well, there's stuff that's underneath the covers that's not going to be visible to you or I, um, but that will ensure that all your devices that are connected to your NetDoomer are going to get the proper download speeds they deserve. Now, one more thing. Let's go to settings, miscellaneous. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna click on it right now, but you need to scroll all the way down to the bottom here. And um, I'm on Bleeding Edge Cloud already because I'm playing Black Ops 3, as most of you guys know. And uh, click Apply Cloud Settings. This will flush the cloud um, locally that's stored on the NetDoomer to make sure it's in sync with all the latest and greatest and uh, make sure you're trouble free. So do that. Um, so let's go back up to the top. So that's the things you need to do before you're doing anything else. Obviously, you've updated the latest firmware already. Um, so there's no obvious change to this page, yet the ping assist mechanism has changed underneath the covers. It's meant to be faster, it's better. And this firmware has taken a long time to arrive, but uh, rightly so, because there's been some fundamental core stuff that's been done to get you some super duper speeds. And we'll come back to that later. So right now I've got actually I've got both the uh, services enabled. So if I go to congestion control, and this is the thing uh, that has changed. Um, so if you want to use high speed downloads, this is where you got it connected to the modem direct and not through another router like I have right now. I'm going to do a modem and NetDuma only test later on in a separate video, and it requires me to do this like a midnight testing type thing because I need to disrupt the entire home network. Uh, yeah, so it won't be popular if I do it during daytime. Right, so I'm coming down to here. This is the thing that's changed. And you go, well, no, it hasn't. You just slide this. There's, there's no changes, Sim. What are you talking about? So what's changed here, for example, let's say, for example, um, I want PlayStation 4 to have a high download and all that sort of stuff because I'm downloading a big game update. Yeah, I need the Xbox One to have, oh, that's interesting, because I'm doing this live and I've not done it before. So you'll see that it's, it's really a sharing between those. Um, there is uh, no, hmm, that's because share access is, uh, yeah, it is ticked. That's interesting. So I was expecting, yeah, I, I guess it's still right. It's going to do this. So what I'm trying to demonstrate is like, I want, for example, um, I'm doing this badly, but it is all live. PlayStation have 52%, for example, because I'm doing big game download, but I only need 20% of my bandwidth. 
for the Xbox One for online gaming, for example. Now, traditionally, when you've got this all done and dusted, the only thing that this would affect would be your upload speed. So if you're uploading stuff, you know, all your bullets going up to, up to the uh, internet and uh, to other gaming consoles, etc., etc., uh, that was that's all it was affecting, just the upload speed. But now, this is proper bandwidth control, and it affects the download speed too. So that's cool. For those of you who've followed my lag compensation videos for some time, I've always talked about upload and download speeds having an impact on the lag compensation algorithms. Now, at the moment, share access is ticked, which means, well, if these puppies here, these two laptops of mine, which is the same laptop, one's wireless, one's wired, uh, are not using it, then you other devices can have it. So effectively, if I had my PlayStation 4 off, effectively, and my laptop's off, effectively, it's getting 100%. Right? So, what you'd have to do in that scenario would be to untick the share access so that you could restrict that and give your PlayStation 4 more, give your laptops less, because they don't need that much, and hey presto, and click update distribution, and you're done. Now, I'll probably do that sort of testing. Actually, I could probably test that from this laptop right now, actually, by doing speed tests. So let's just see if I can demonstrate uh, this. So let's, if we put it sort of like 10 ish percent, mm, that way, well, 12%, 11, 12, 11%, 11 that would do. Click update distribution. Right. <laughs> You've unticked share access. Now this can lock you out of your router. You sure want to carry on. Interesting. I should be able to carry on because I've got 12 and 11%. Uh, that's an interesting. So if I go to speed test, this should demonstrate quite clearly that now it affects the upload and the download speed without using the congestion control global sliders. If I wait for that to, to load, uh, if I scroll up to the top, you've got these traditional. Come on. You got these traditional uh, scrollers that would affect the upload and download speed across everything on your uh, home network. And now you can just use this to affect the same, but to this very specific device. And I've got two uh, windows open and ready because there's some graphical glitch on the web page when I do this. I want to switch between the two tabs without information being covered. So I click begin test on this one. We'll possibly speed up the uh, graphics and we'll see the final result. So as you can see, I get eight and a half down and basically two megs up. So if I go back over to this, tick the shared excess and I'm gonna click update just to make sure it takes effect. And then we'll run the other speed test. So now, because none of these devices, even though my Xbox One is currently on, it's ready for a little bit of another test later on for part of this video, I should get 100% pretty much on my laptop. But my laptop's not the most media, so it's not going to report the truest uh, actual speed that this house gets. But it should still demonstrate the point quite nicely. So there we go, 62 megs down and 16 and a half megs up. So let's uh, focus back on the net doomer. So that's demonstrated this device prioritization and this bandwidth control I've been wanting for ages because it now gives me the good reason to go and actually put this as part of the uh, main network, shall we say, without it hiding behind another router. And I'll have to do that testing. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll put it in another video. Uh, once I've done that sort of testing. So that covers that. Uh, host analysis, there's no real changes there. VPN, again, no changes. Network monitor, no change there. Device manager, similar sort of thing. Now remember, for those of you who are doing, playing about with that congestion control, that you have to go into edit and make sure you actually specify your download and upload because that's how it works with your percentages. So do the speedtest.net type test with your most powerful PC connected directly to the router, find out what your max speeds are, and then enter those into your download and upload, and then click the update bandwidth. And you can see I've got, uh, you know, these are my devices that are connected, and I've named them as well. Um, 
right internet diagnosis don't need to go there so what we do want to go to next is um you guys now i've got upnp enabled and stuff i just want to quickly go around um some bits uh, if i can remember where they all are the correct pages uh i have ipv6 off and i'm mentioning this now in case you guys are doing some high performance speedy stuff later on so i have it turned off here I also have MTU set as automatic. And then we have in WAN, it's disabled here too. Again, MTU is enabled. There's a couple for WAN and LAN. And then under miscellaneous, we also have the IPv6 here too. So I have that turned off. And if you're using wanting to use this super duper fast mode, you also need to turn off this deep packet processing. Um, so there's two modes, turbo mode and super turbo mode. And that's like, like, you know, this is ridiculous. This is the ridiculously stupidly high speed. And this, as it says, disables congestion control. So when we're saying disables congestion control, we're talking about these two main sliders up here and you should have it on reactive. Going back to settings, miscellaneous again, and um, turbo mode. That's when you have it on that. So I can't test that right now because it's connected to another router. I will do another video where I've got this connected directly to my modem and see if I can get that top notch speed. And obviously I'll have to test this against my main uh, Sim Beast PC because, well, it's the Beast PC and it gives me the fastest download and upload speeds and gives me the truest measure where my laptop is just a, a cheap and cheerful laptop, but good enough for a uh, doing videos like this and recording game console footage. Um, so what other stuff have they added? They've also added uh, the username and password sort of stuff. So you can now uh, have this, so you can type in admin and my password type thing to log on. So stops anybody else messing about with the router. So I think that pretty much covers it for what they've done. Um, but what I want to also do now is go over here and see what the heck happens in the world of the geo filter now i've got some deny and allow stuff set up for bad hosts and hackers and stuff like that um so that's cool um, what i might do initially is disable these for a second so we can see just all the servers ping up i'm going to fire up black ops 3 and then i'll click the enable and then say find a game and just see what happens um, and how quickly I get into a game, because I'm sure a lot of you guys will be interested in that, um, because some of you guys still haven't bought a NetDoomer, and you're considering, Ooh, do I want a NetDoomer? Is it gonna really make a difference? And uh, these type of videos sort of like help give you guys an informed view. So I'm just firing up my uh, Agato software, because I had to disable it whilst doing this video. So it just, I guess, uh, well, my this poor laptop gets stressed. So I'm gonna about launch my Black Ops 3 from the Xbox One. So here we go. I should overlay some uh, little graphics on the top, so like the left hand corner, I suspect, just to show you that being up and running and what's happening on the screen in front of you from a NetDoomer perspective. And hopefully neither recordings uh, sort of lag out because, well, I'm stressing my laptop. Right, so here we are on the magic screen and they've recently done the good old update. There you go, all of those servers came up lightning fast. I will make note that uh, Black Ops 3 did just roll out a couple of patches, but I've never seen dedicated servers come up that fast on my NetDoomer ever. So what I'm gonna do now, because it's talked to all of that, because I just want to make it sort of controlled in case the cloud still has a few updates and tweaks, I'm going to, um, yeah, that's enabled, so, uh, so there we go. So I'm going to click in. Yes, it's double XP, so that makes it even more fun. Public match, do a find. Uh, I'm going to go for core domination for a second. 33% uh, of players online. Click go. So just let's cover a couple of settings. Oh, actually, I want to put peer ping on for a second because I'm curious. Um, uh, there we go, so peer ping. That's one, which is my Xbox and uh, we have auto ping host uh, kilometers is on 
strict mode so everything should only be inside the geo circle so let's click go uh no stop listening good old connect is uh uh give me some fun there because i said the word xbox mm. and we're straight into a game uh now i do have do you see this red circle over here i do have that inside my um rules down below but that was absolutely lightning fast. Uh, you can see the yellow circle come in right over here. Uh, uh, and, and that's putting me on the island server by uh, guessing. If I zoom into this area. Uh, yeah, that's good old island. And uh, yeah, so that was quite impressive. That was really quick. Uh, host handle, distance. So uh, click just into the game and hopefully I will get um, some stats and stuff and I'm going to be running around playing a game online trying to look over my gaming monitor at my big TV whilst doing this uh, and having no sound whatsoever which is just like crazy are you crazy sim all for you guys so you can hear my uh, controllers all clicking all over the place I have no idea where they are what sort of pings are we getting right now uh, this is nuts that I'm doing this, but hey, let's go back this way. I just want to get you guys to see the peer ping graph. I think we'll make this died around there. And, uh, and, and naturally I died because I can't hear him. I did think I saw somebody, but what I'm deliberately doing is giving you the live demonstration example of uh, uh, the, the, the ping, the peer ping. That's what I really care about. Um, and I'm trying to sh play this over looking over a gaming monitor at my TV, which doesn't work, as you can see. And if I scroll down here, that's not giving me any information right now. But we are on the island server. And yeah, I was quite impressed on how quickly I got into a game. Very impressed. So let's leave that one there. And, uh, and we'll go and switch over to my PS4. Right, so now we're on to my PS4. Again, I'm going to, for a control test, leave it completely disabled for a second whilst I fire up the game. Once I'm in the game and the dedicated servers are showing, I will turn it on and then go and find a game. And I've got peer pings on for service number two, which is my PlayStation 4, to give you an idea of, well, what's happening. So, um... Just contemplating switching it on my headset because it is connected up to the PS4 and will make my life much, much better when I try to demo and shoot over the gaming monitor whilst looking at my TV. At least I've got some sound or something along those lines. So, what I'm going to do now is fire up Black Ops 3. We'll see it again, the overlay, and we'll see how it goes for the dedicated servers and how quickly they come up. Yes, yeah, so I was getting a little worried then because I could hear the music and all the stuff and nothing was changing. Phew. Like many of you, I wish I just could skip the intro screen. But hey, there we go. So, same patch level, 37, with lots of zeros after it. Wait for the numbers to change. And here's the dedicated servers coming up. And there's not very many of them coming up. Hmm, interesting. Um, so, we're going to click. So, the ones in Europe as well, I guess I'm all interested in. But as you guys who've watched my Black Ops 3 connection tips video, I mentioned before that I don't get dedicated servers consistently coming up on the PS4. Um, from their location. That's got to be the least that I've ever seen. Uh, I'm going to click enable on this. I believe that the uh, dedicated servers were down yesterday so that may uh, have some influence but anyway we're going to go multiplayer, public, find, go to core and go to domination and double check that I did click enable on this thing. Yes because it says disable and here, straight off, I'm in a lobby right now, and all of these guys in Spain who will lag for me quite a lot because effectively their pings are just the same as the US. Literally, 150 milliseconds, 150 milliseconds, yes. 
um, hence why Spain is excluded in my geo filter. So I'm just waiting for this to uh, literally go across into a game so we can see what the peer ping is like. Right, so we're into the game, and you can see already, this is the type of peer pings I'm getting, and the average pings. Uh, just see what it's like, just to give you guys uh, that sort of uh, impression, what's going on. And uh, I'm still looking at a partial part of my TV, whilst uh, looking over my gaming monitor that I normally game on, uh, which is recording the NetDuma footage live. And it's hard to do. Very hard to do. But I've got my headset on now and I could hear that gamer without a problem. But anyway, I think that's enough of a demo. What I'll probably do is end up giving you guys uh, uh, some clips towards the end of the video. Oh, I can't use the TV. Uh, so I'll give you some clips at the end of the video uh, to show you what it's like with this latest patch. Friendly UAC inbound. Hostile HCXG in your AO. Be locked down. Friendly hardened sentry deployed. So I hope you found the video useful and informative, as always I appreciate a thumbs up. Feel free to drop comments down below, I always answer them. And to stay in touch with my latest videos, go and hit that subscribe button. Until next time, this has been Sim.